John Barnes here with Red Barnes Audio. And today we're gonna to use RX4 to fix some extreme clicks in some dialogue that was handed to an editor. Now let me give you a little bit about the backstory. Chris Story, who is a member of the Audio Rescue Group on Facebook, sent us a sample where he said, this is the gig. The director's given me this audio. It has an extreme amount of clicks. Now I didn't realize how bad it was, but it's pretty bad. I'll play it for you here in a second. And I have hours of this to process and I don't have budget to spend days fixing it. So can we do an automated process? Can we find something to just take this out? And especially at the high end. So let me play you at the beginning and then I'll show you what happened after we repaired it. So here is the audio before it's fixed. This is the original. Then this is what it's gonna turn out after five minutes of this demo. We'll go through the process and you can you can guess how many steps it took us to get from point A, which is the first part, to point B, the second part, and then I'll show you exactly what I did to make that happen. So here's the original. Check this out. Brian is an author, a public speaker, and a thought leader in the gift planning world. After RX? Brian is an author, a public speaker, and a thought leader in the gift planning world. Pretty slick, huh? That's pretty amazing. It's not perfect perfect. There's no hand editing there though, it's just a few steps. So you can guess how many steps it took us and then I'll show you what I did here. Now this is the same file, except for you know, it doesn't have the, the end part and we'll just go through the steps and I'll show you. Now what most people are gonna do is they're gonna run over here to the D-clicker and they're gonna run the D-clicker on this and they'll preview and different things like that. It's not what I do to begin with. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run over and I'm gonna grab the equalizer. And I have a couple controls here. I can actually adjust while the audio is playing. I can adjust the, the top and I can adjust the bottom. And there's a couple other controls on whatever note is selected here. You can also adjust the cue by simply grabbing this control and you can, you can adjust how steep this goes. And I tend to like it at about eight personally, but you can adjust it and try it. If you can't get exactly what you want, just go down here and write it in. It's actually pretty simple. So there's eight. That's where I usually end up. That's my starting point. Your mileage may vary. You can do something more, something less. But listen to the audio as I adjust this node, the top and the bottom. I'm gonna go extreme and I'll go extreme the other way and then I'll find what I really like. Watch this. Brian is an author, a public speaker, and a thought leader in the gift planning world. Now right at, Brian is an author. Right about, about the 4K point is where you start hearing a difference. And let's see how far we can push it and still live with it. Brian is an author a public speaker, and a thought leader in the gift planning world. Brian is an author, a public speaker, and a thought leader in the gift planning world. Okay, I can live with that. And maybe you can't, so maybe yours will be higher, but I want a better quality, I want less clicks. Now let's adjust the low end. Brian is an author, a public speaker, and a thought leader in the gift planning world. Brian is an author, a public speaker, and a thought leader in the gift planning world. Okay, so that's, I'm taking off a lot there. And I'm doing it because this is such an extreme example. In many cases, I really won't be going up over, say, 110 for a male voice. That's usually where I end up here. And a female voice, sometimes higher, but that's, that's not too bad. And on the high end here, I'm pushing it. I usually would not go this low, but I have all these clicks. I wanna get rid of them. I want something that's duplicatable. So let me process this through. You can see what it did to the audio there. Let's go back, let's listen to it. As an author, a public speaker, and a thought leader in the gift planning world. I don't know if you notice, but if I'm playing this, author, listen to the public difference. public speaker, and a thought leader in the gift planning world. Listen to the clicks specifically. Brian is an author, a public speaker, and a thought leader in the gift planning world. Brian is an author. If you're paying attention, and really over YouTube, I'm not sure how well you can hear it. It's day and night for me on my end. We have cut down the high end, the, the real sharp part of those clicks, enough that the D-clicker has less work to do now because we've cut off, and visually, you can see them. Now, a lot of times in this particular case, I'm gonna switch back to Mel so we can see the tops of these and what's happening. But uh, by cutting that down, we've done ourselves some good. The D-clicker will be much more effective now so let's now take the D-clicker and let's adjust this. First thing, D-click. I'm gonna use random. Now these are pretty evenly spaced, but not perfectly. And chances are we could use either. Now, here's the real Brian way Brian is it. an author. We can run preview and we can adjust the settings as we go. And I'll do it now. I'm 
what I've found is in this particular example, they're so even, I can almost use either. Brian is an author, a public speaker, and a thought leader in the gift planning world. Brian is an author, a public speaker, and a thought leader in the gift. But three is just not enough for this sort of thing. So let's adjust it up as we go. Brian is an author, a public speaker, and a thought leader in the gift planning world. Brian is an author, a public speaker, and a thought leader in the gift planning world. <laughs> I have to laugh. I, I don't remember ever running this thing more than, if I've, on a whole file, I don't think I've ever run it over six. So now I'm going to run the sensitivity up at 10 because this is so extreme. I want to see how much I can take out and see what it does. We're missing so much audio here just because the clicks are there. Uh, a little, an artifact here or there isn't the end of the world in this particular case. So let's process this through. And there, all our clicks are, I don't want to say they're gone. Well, let's listen to it. So I, I can, I'm going to go back and forth between them there and not. Brian is an author, a public speaker, and a thought leader in the gift planning world. Brian is an author, a public speaker, and a thought leader in the gift planning world. Brian is an author, a public speaker, and a thought leader in the gift planning world. Brian is an author, a public speaker. That's not bad. That's pretty darn good. It's pretty amazing what we've done there with a... So far, two steps, the equalizer and the declicker. And remember, when I'm doing the demo, this demo takes me 15 minutes. If I'm doing it in the real world to check this out, to find what I want, I'm going to have the whole thing done in five minutes. Probably less, but we'll just say five minutes. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this sample and we're going to denoise it a little bit. And because of the nature of it, I'm going to probably go into manual mode here in dialog. I'm going to pick a little section here and... I'm going to take this. Now, if I remember right, that's not going to be long enough. Let's see if it takes it. Oh, it took that. Cool. We have just enough in there. And let's see what happens. Let me preview it once again. Let me reset this. Brian is an author, a public speaker, and a thought leader oh, in the really gift planning world. Brian is an author, a public speaker, and a thought leader in the gift planning world. Brian is an author, a public speaker, and a thought leader. Okay, so that's not so bad. Now, I happen to know I'm almost never going to do it that way. I'm going to start it here, and let's run this at, say, 10. We could run it at 8. That would be fine. And once we do that, and sometimes, you know, an 8.3 is the same as 8. What we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and run in a whole thing. I'm going to add a preset. I'm going to call this Extreme 1. And save that. And then I will re, I'll retrain it again. And in an ideal world, you retrain between every one of these times. If you're if you're doing manual training, then you can go ahead and you can retrain it, and you'll get a better you'll get a superior fix. And I'm going to name this Extreme Two. What that allows us to do is when we come back in and we do the batch processing, we have Extreme One where it's trained and extreme to where it's been trained. And we can set those up in the batch process. I'm gonna process this through. Now I'm gonna listen back. Brian is an author, a public speaker, and a thought leader in the gift planning world. Brian is an author, a public speaker, and a thought leader in the gift planning world. Yeah, it's pretty darn good. So now I have four steps where I took the EQ, high pass, low pass, then I went ahead and I declicked one time. I probably could get a little more if I did a little more. I might declick. A lot of times I'll declick twice at a lower level. This is so bad. I'm just going for max. You can see this turned out pretty darn well considering the extreme nature that we started with. You usually won't have to deal with this much. And of course, like I said, we'll do another video that just has to do with mouth noise and mouth clicks, which is a different animal than this. And we usually don't go so extreme. If I hand edited it, I could do some more. That's not necessary, that's not the gig this time. We could clean up some other things with spectral repair, but we're gonna leave it for now. If you have questions, be sure to join us over in the Audio Rescue Group in Facebook. Please like the video if you liked it, leave some comments here, and then of course subscribe if you wanna see some of the future videos that come in on this series. Look forward to seeing you on the wires and in the Facebook groups. You have a great day, talk to you later, bye.